So there was this guy at the gym and he was bench pressing and he had 225s on each side and he was barely making it. So I offered to spot him and he was like, uh, yeah, I do need help, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go ask that guy. I'm like, okay, dude, you going to sit here and die? And you know you're gonna let this thing fall on you than to get a, a woman's help all right all right my guy do you okay like I, I don't know that's just sad I mean well rather sit there and die let this thing fall on you than to get a woman's help to spot you okay yeah. oh. Oh. Hey, I pop up. Hey, he give me more stamina. Oh, uh, I hit that net like an animal. Ooh, shit, that bit like a snack. Not the animal. Go get some racks, but you better do that. LeBron on your head for a pen or two. Come here. Well, it looks like it's time for me to take a hint and just go f myself. All right, you guys keep asking, where's part two? Where's part two? All right, yeah, I'm going to climb my things up and give him the sexy eyes. Did you notice my sexy eyes? So there's a debate that hitting on people at the gym is inappropriate on my TikTok. What do you think about that? A woman like making the first step. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so. It's okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Shut the fuck up. It's Hispanic. Yeah. yeah. I'm a white Hispanic though. Like, yeah. I don't speak Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican, but I don't speak Spanish. Alright, so the first one I do it to hardly speak any English. debate going on on my TikTok on whether or not it's appropriate to hit on someone at the gym. What if a girl, no, approached, what if a girl approached one of you guys and was like, I'm interested. Are you going to be like, no, I'm working, I'm busy? No, I'd ask her to. What? Modern women are getting rejected in the gyms in record numbers. This is something that women didn't think would ever happen. But here we are. Women are approaching men in the gym to ask for their number and it's going horribly. They're experiencing the kinds of rejections that most men are all too familiar with. Brutal, publicly. Humiliating and totally embarrassing. But the truth is, women only have themselves to blame for why this has changed. Modern women and feminism killed approaching. It used to be the case that you could walk up to a woman as a totally normal guy and have a pleasant interaction with a woman. Obviously, you didn't get the number 100% of the time, but at least you were treated with dignity and respect. But now when you approach a woman, you can predict with a reasonable degree of accuracy that it will go terribly. At best, she will roll her eyes and look away hoping that you get the hint and leave her alone. At worst, she will slap you, scream, and accuse you of sexual harassment. Before we go any further with the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to User, an absolute champion of a man, who said, as an Australian and a father of four, my youngest being my only daughter, this one hit home with me. I can think of many illegal things I would be less ashamed of than what she's done. Yet to earn her status and wealth is legal in our society. So sad. Thank you, man guide. Watching videos such as these helps me improve myself as a man and a father. I assure you, your lessons are getting passed on to our next generation. Thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate it. And that's really what I'm trying to do with this channel. And you make a great point. There's no shame left in our society anymore, and I wish you the best with everything. So please, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your $5. As always guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or just one that moved me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and sub buttons too, as it helps out the channel a ton. So now, let's get back to the video. your masculinity.
Men realize the risk that symbols when you approach a woman in this day and age. And this is why men have stopped doing it altogether. But that's not the only reason. Feminism has spent the past few decades labeling any form of proactive dating effort for men as creepy, toxic, and perverted. It seems that feminism wasn't going to be happy until every man was safely locked indoors away from the general public. But do you know what happened? Men stopped approaching, stayed indoors working remote jobs and playing video games. And unsurprisingly, the dating options for modern women dried up. Do you know what feminism had to say about it? They blamed men for being basement-dwelling losers. You can't win in this society as a man. If you approach a woman, you're a creepy sex pest. If you stay inside, you're an incel mama's boy. But why am I talking about this? Because this explains why women have been forced to approach men. They never wanted to do this, but they were forced to because the dating landscape has changed so dramatically over the past 10 years. There are still women in society who don't mind being approached, but they're in the minority. The truth is, the feminists ruined it for everybody. Now, all women have to pay for it. Modern women have been forced to approach men even in a gym setting. They thought it would be easy. Too many women listened to Mia Khalifa when she told a generation of women that men are the easiest thing on the planet. And because feminism seems to think she is the textbook example of a dignified woman, everyone listened to her. But to their amazement, men were not as easy as they thought. Showing a bit of flesh and shaking your ass wasn't enough. These women couldn't just flutter their eyelashes and get men to do whatever they wanted. The truth that modern women discovered is that men have changed. Don't get me wrong, there are still far too many simps out there in society willing to flood a woman with unearned compliments and thousands of dollars for feet pics. And this is a problem. But in general, modern women are experiencing something they never thought they would experience. Rejection. And as it turns out, they absolutely cannot handle it. Go ahead. But wait! I have a boyfriend. That's Cap. No, it's not. It's not Cap. Come on, Are you out of your mind? Oh, well, maybe a little bit. Have you been drinking? In kind of the best way. Oh, nope, I'm completely sober. <laughs> you out of your mind. <laughs> You know we've been together for a long time, Daniel, and I really got something I want to ask you because I love you so much. Okay. Daniel, I love you so much, and I just want to know. Get out! Somebody over there. They're, they're not looking, buddy. They're not looking. Huh? They're not looking. No, I can't. That I. Sorry. Sorry, I can't. I was talking to somebody over there. Sorry. No, you good. You good. Sorry, bro. Okay, we like hugs. Shouting, screaming, passive aggressiveness, or just straight up violence are just some of the ways that women respond to rejection. This is how we know that men are emotionally the stronger gender. I know we've been force fed the BS feminist propaganda that claims that women are the more resilient species emotionally. But if you want to completely undermine this argument, take a look at how women respond when you say the magic word that few women are capable of hearing. No. Two letters. One syllable. 
total ego destruction, and it's almost delicious to watch. So far, we've covered why women have been forced to approach and how that's going. But now, let's talk about the one environment that women have absolutely ruined over the past couple of decades. The gym environment. This used to be a place where any man could retreat to in order to work on himself in the presence of other men looking to do the same. In a society like this one where men's spaces have been completely outlawed, the gym used to be a place where masculine traits such as courage and challenge were embraced and celebrated. Even in today's society, we still see rare examples of what gyms used to be all the time. Take a look at some of these clips that went viral on social media. Look at this guy watching me while I was deadlifting. He saw that I failed and came over to respectfully give me some great pointers. You need to move it. I, whenever I deadlift on this platform, move it all the way up. Look how low it is right now, right? See that? How indented that is? And you're squatting down. And then when you start, when the bar starts moving, your hips are already So that's the power of the bar. And like, when you pull on the bar, it's so you feel your hamstrings engage, right? And then start from there. I want to see you right now. Yeah. I'm so grateful for all the support I receive at my gym. I find it interesting that these clips went viral on social media when it's really not a big deal. Feminism painted gyms as being these cauldrons of toxic masculinity full of predatory men. Places where men meet to devise new and insidious ways to hurt and abuse women. This is just a sign that most feminists have never set foot inside of a gym in their entire lives. Because this kind of thing where men helped women and encouraged each other used to be the standard. This is why men have been so frustrated at women for invading them and essentially turning them into a social media circus playground. This is the clown show that modern women have turned gyms into. Encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously this guy's not dressed for a good workout. And he just kept wandering from machine to machine, staring at girls while they were working out. And I literally stood next to him for so long and he didn't even notice me. This is so annoying. We come to work out not to be leered at. And yes, I did record, uh, report him to the front desk and show them the video. What a creep. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when there's leaders. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 feral. Like fucking feral. This is the five ads. Five pounds. And these are the weights. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Okay, I thought so. Keep it pushing. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Go 
somebody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And that if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespass mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, That's let them know. That's what we do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and then I'll come. Feminism and modern women invaded the final space in society where it was actually okay to be a man. And when men started expressing their frustration about it, modern women decided to gaslight them, basically calling them a pussy. Apparently, it's not okay to use that word unless it's a woman using it to attack a man. Hypocrisy comes in many forms. But there were solid reasons for this. Every woman in the gym suddenly had a tripod and was filming their workouts for TikTok clout. That's bad enough. But women took it too far when they started accusing men of staring at them in the gym when in 90% of cases they were doing absolutely nothing wrong. That's when women overstepped the mark. Suddenly, gyms were no longer just a nuisance full of thirsty Instagram thoughts who had no interest in exercise. Women took it way too far and turned gyms into a place where men actively felt threatened. And for good reason. Something 99% of women will never understand is how much a sexual assault allegation ruins a man's life. Why do you think men don't approach women anymore? Being cold to creep isn't the same as being called a bitch. It's not a comment you can just brush off and recover from, especially if that accusation has become public. Being cold to creep or a pervert as a man can be a life-destroying event that will rob you of the respect of your family, the connections with your friends, and security of your job. How many men does feminism need to throw under the bus and destroy before women start to get the message? Gyms became straight up toxic for men, and women were squarely to blame for it. And do you know how men responded? We stopped helping women in the gym. No, she just don't need my help. Why I gotta be mean for Back up, back up, back up. Man, set, back up. No, no, if you're not scared of help her, just go help her. Busy. You don't see me doing a set? How about you go help Why, her? Why, just because she has a tripod, you're not going to help her? No, I'm doing a set. You're not doing a set, so go help her. But she literally asked for someone stronger. When you're strong, stronger Can you do more weights? Me, because I Wait, couldn't why help you? Her. I tried to help her and so I couldn't. So there's a lot of niggas stronger than you. No, I know, no but... offense, but... <laughs> no, <it's just> <laughs> yeah. not much. You're yeah, a big guy, true. bro. You're a big guy. That is true. Seems like you're a pretty thirsty kind of guy. Yeah. So you weren't just looking at my fat, juicy booty? Yes, I was. You were? Yeah. So are you asking for my number? Yeah. But you were just staring at me? Yeah. Why? I like staring at people. You were staring at me. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Okay. I'm just gonna... go. my weights over here so we go this way if you know what those two words mean you are much smarter than the girl who was screaming at me at the gym let me explain i'm standing there doing a tricep push down exercise and since i can't see i'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing halfway through a set i start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction getting closer and closer and closer until all of a sudden this woman's right up in my face going i didn't come here to be stared at huh i didn't come here to be stared at Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care, stop staring at me! Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind, I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. Suddenly, women started to be held accountable for their actions. They started to notice that they were no longer being treated like these damsels in distress. They had beaten men over the head with the whole I'm a strong and independent woman rhetoric far too many times. And now, the chickens had come home to roost. That's when women started to notice that men were not helping them anymore. It doesn't matter if she's stuck under a barbell in the bench press position or frozen at the bottom of a squat. 
It was still far too dangerous for most men to even be within a single meter of a woman under any circumstances. And women got angry at men for it. It's funny how no matter what, the blame will squarely land in a man's lap regardless of the evidence or the circumstances. The fact is, women created the situation, and any women who needed help in the gym and didn't get it from a man can start knocking on the door of feminists who created the situation. It is entirely their fault. This message right here, I can respect 100%, okay? I was horny that day when I posted that, so um, I'm not always feeling it. I go to the gym, I want to get in, I want to get out, I'm in my zone, don't talk to me. However, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm not talking about the guys who are just there to focus. If, do you, congratulations, I'm proud of you. Um, fuck my life, I am surrounded by bees. I am talking to the guys who want to talk to me. Those are the guys I'm trying to talk to. I don't want, I don't want a person who doesn't want to talk to me, the fuck? Mm -mm. So, do you understand that being? Do you. And I'll do me. Bees are the only thing this woman can attract. I was horny that day. Imagine if a man tried to make that same excuse. He'd be cancelled on every form of social media and fired from his job on the spot. But it's perfectly okay when women do it. I only want to approach the people who want to talk to me. If only we had the empathy and respect for men in this society to apply the same logic to men. This is all men wanted too. We wanted to talk to women who wanted to talk to us. Our intention was never to harass or attack anyone. But because this society favors women more than men, women have a free pass to approach men even if those men don't want to be approached. Women get a free pass on this and it doesn't matter how the man feels. He just needs to suck it up and deal with it. If only we said that same thing to women, but obviously we don't. In this society, a man having boundaries with women gets called a pussy or accused of being gay just because he rejected a woman. This is manipulation in its purest form. Don't be fooled by this kind of nonsense, men. Needless to say, women getting rejected in the gym isn't something that you should be worrying about. If you've watched any of my other videos on the gym, you will remember that I recommend building out a home gym as a man with your buddies so you can train without all this nonsense. This is just one of the ways of taking your power back as a man and walking away from the drama of modern dating and modern women. Modern women are only just starting to experience life from a man's perspective. In order to achieve practically anything in life, a man needs to become rejection resistant. A man faces rejection in every single area of his life, almost on a daily basis. And this society has absolutely no compassion for men who go through this. But like anything in this society, when a woman starts to suffer, that's when society starts to ask how we can change things. But it's only when a woman suffers. When a man struggles with rejection, ridicule and disappointment, He's told to suck it up. This is why we shouldn't feel guilty or even sympathetic. The equality that modern women campaign so hard for is what they're starting to experience. As it turns out, women didn't want equality. They already had all the privileges in the world, but it wasn't enough. They wanted more and more. But now they're experiencing what real equality feels like. They have this idea in their minds that male privilege is real. It's absolute nonsense and always has been. But these women are starting to realize it now. To all of this, there's one thing I need to say. Walk away. Don't deal with the nonsense. Don't cave into the pressure to approach women in the gym. These modern women aren't worth your time or your energy. If you're under the age of 35, you have absolutely no business even thinking about settling down with a woman, let alone a woman in this society. Stay on the path, hold the line, build up your body, focus on your friends and family. Get your finances in order and exercise your power by doing the one thing that modern women don't want you to do. Stop paying attention to them. Attention is the lifeblood of the modern woman. Accountability is her kryptonite. Responsibility is like garlic to a vampire to her. Withdraw your attention and only give it back when holding modern women accountable to their actions. For too long, this society has pedestalized women. It's time for this society to stop being a playground. And it's time for women to start experiencing the consequences of their actions like they are starting to do it in the gym environment. This is only just the beginning. Make sure you've got your popcorn because we're going to be seeing much more of this in the coming years. Mark my words. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.